Mandela rests. South Africa buried former President Nelson Mandela on Sunday at his hometown of Kunu. His send-off was mixed with military pomp and the traditional rites of his Zosa Amatembu clan. About 4,500 guests gathered at the funeral ceremony to bid farewell to the man who fought for a united South Africa. Exemplary tributes were given to the man who fought so hard for South Africa's liberation. As a true leader and authentic personification of the African National Congress, Mandela's life also represented what was promising about the continent's future. The passing of our President Mandela is not only a loss to South Africa, but also to the Sadiq region and indeed to the world. Nelson Mandela was our leader, our hero, our icon and our father as much as he was yours. Whilst the long walk to freedom has ended in the physical sense, our own journey continues. We have to continue building the type of society you worked tirelessly to construct. We have to take your legacy forward. In doing so, we'll continue drawing lessons from your very rich and extraordinary life. Mandela's family was not left out either, as they fondly remembered the life moments they had with the former South African leader. Dadom Kulu was a lot of fun to be around, and he was a great storyteller. He had a great sense of humor. During the past year, we truly missed hearing his voice. At dinner, he liked telling stories about his childhood. After the ceremony, Mandela's family and selected guests headed to the burial site, away from the glare of cameras. And as his coffin was lowered into the grave, three military helicopters flew low over the cemetery, paying homage to the man who made a difference in the political landscape of not just South Africa, but the world. Carol Oyola, CCTV.